Okay, welcome. Let's start. Let's start with this. A long, long time ago, sometime in the 800s, a couple of Persian guys, uh, brothers, uh, Banu Musa brothers, they uh, they invented a hydro-powered organ that would play songs uh, using water power, and an automatic flute uh, that would play songs using steam power. And in uh, I guess 1,300 years, 1,200 years, uh, we've we've now got digital uh, software sequencers. And we're going to look at one of those this, this week. Seek 24, it's frustrating, it's maddening, uh, it'll drive you crazy, and it'll make you laugh out loud when you're using it. Uh, the user interface is really, really counterintuitive, but once you figure it out, it's, it's like one of those things that makes perfect, perfect sense. So with no further ado, let's, let's get started. Okay, let's get started with this. The first thing we need to do, we need to bring up uh, Jack and just make sure it's started. Then we need to bring up whatever instruments we're going to use in the sequencer. Uh, hydrogen for drum machines, uh, synths, whatever, whatever it might be. And so we'll bring up hydrogen. Uh, notice I have it loaded with a specific uh, drum set, and it's going to be important later when we when we get doing this. So whatever drum set you've got uh, loaded is the drum set that the sequencer is going to play as we as we go through uh, the process. So uh, there's that. And now we'll bring up uh, Seek 24. And it looks funny. Uh, this is places for patterns to go. Uh, not necessarily across here like we'll see or down or up or anything like that, but each one of these little blocks can hold a pattern. This is play. This is don't play. This is obviously beats per minute. So I'm going to right click here and pick, I'd like a new pattern to make a new. And here what we see is a MIDI piano roll. If you haven't seen this before, let's spend a minute here. Uh, uh, first, I'm going to hook this to hydrogen. So this pattern that's going to go right there uh, is, is going to be a part of the drum machine. And if you've never seen a piano roll before, this is a piano keyboard. That's common, a common interface to enter MIDI notes. Uh, each one of these keys corresponds to a specific drum in the drum set I choose, chose. Uh, each one of these is a quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note measure. Uh, I think we had it set to 120 beats a minute. I'm going to enter. Yeah, there we go. Let's enter a kick drum there. And notice that this says I'm entering 16 notes, which is a quarter of a quarter. So, uh, And what I did was, I right-clicked my mouse. I mean, I right held my, I held down the right mouse button. That puts me in pencil mode, and wherever I right-click, it'll add a, a 16th note. So, if I, so let's just, let's just start right there. So I close this pattern. There it is. I hit play. You don't hear anything. I'm going to click this. You see how that works. So let's enter another pattern. Uh, and let's find some hats. Oh, first, tell it. We're using hydrogen. Okay. Whoops, didn't want that one. Uh, so I'm going to just single left click it, hit my delete key. And I'm doing just what I said. I'm holding down my right mouse button to go into draw mode and putting in and, and left clicking on each 16th note. I'm closing that one and let's start playing. So 
you see how that works. So I, I can fill up. I don't know why they call it Seek 24 because there's 32 slots here. But I can fill up all 32 slots of this thing with different sequences. And I can right-click here, add another new sequence, come down here, say, let's hook this to hydrogen again. that one okay let's uh no let's make this i didn't want to do that i'm left clicking hit my delete button let's make this a full half note which one was that there we go okay and eh, maybe a half was a little ambitious let's make it a full quarter note click it delete put in the quarter note Put another quarter note. Okay, let's try this. Hit play. Click. Click. And that's how that works. Now, one thing I want you to notice, see the one key, or see the one, the Q, and the A. And if you look at their, your keyboard, those are all the leftmost keys, like this is the leftmost slot. So I can hit play, and right now I'm going to hit the one key on my keyboard. And I'll hit the A key. I hit the Q key. I'm going to hit the one key. Turns it off. And so you can basically play these patterns uh, using, using your keyboard to turn them on and off. Uh, there's a lot more to this. For instance, if I hit a, the uh, backslash key on my keyboard, uh, that puts it in a slightly different mode. And let's try that. Now what happens is when I hit a key, it's gonna it's not gonna start right when I hit the key, it's gonna start at the beginning of the next measure and you'll see it go gray. So let me hit A. Oops. It turned it off. I hit A again. See it starts at the beginning of the next measure. Same with Q. I hit Q. So that gray is kind of like queued up, it's kind of the ready status. Uh, and so Let's give this, yeah, I mean, 120. Come on. Let's uh, try that. So that's how this thing works. And now next time we're going to get into how do I plug a synth into this thing and uh, do something more ambitious. But I think you can see, uh, or I hope you can see, that what this does is it'll play any of these 32 uh, slots uh, on demand uh, from the mouse, from the keyboard, and and we can stack up uh, performances that way, that we can, we can play this live. And each one, we just build this up. Uh, Remember, they've got piano rolls, so you in a drum machine, you have to pick your note. Oh, one, let me show you this, too. Uh, this, I'm just drawing with my mouse. And this, these, this is also very typical in MIDI, uh, that this represents the velocity or the volume that I'm striking that with. So notice, oh, come back here, Let's see if I can get that down there. Nope, I can't seem to get that one. Yeah, what the hell? Any, who cares? Uh, the point here is that you can change the velocities of the notes uh, on on these patterns, and each one of these keys represents a different thing. Now, when we go to a synth, 
if we're if we're choosing an instrument synth rather than say a drum machine uh, type thing, these are all a C four really is a C four on the scale. It's really that note. So as we play the synth uh, or put in a bass uh, drop or something like that, it'll it'll be uh, the specific notes we chose. So this is this is a cool toy, and uh, I. You know, this hopefully is enough to get you to play with it a little bit. Uh, next week we'll do, like I said, the uh, hook AM synth to a couple patterns and, and bring things up. And I think you'll have even more fun and you'll really see where this can go. Uh, but once again, hold down your right mouse key, left click. Here's the length of the note you're putting in. Uh, here's your piano roll. Here's your various sequences. The backslash key turns them on and off at the end of the measure. Uh, otherwise, you can click them. You can play the little keys at the at the bottom of the section, and that's pretty much all there is to it. A nice thing. There there is things. Other things we'll get into like song mode. Like we can come in here and here say, well, so you know, I want to play a song. I want this one in there every time, and I want. Uh, this one in there every other time, and let's put in that little uh, squishy bit right here and play play a song made up of our same patterns. So you see how that goes, and this would make it loop in that pattern over and over. So you have it in song mode. You have it in uh, improvisational mode like it is here. You can make up songs and save them. Uh, so anyway, this thing is a lot of fun. I hope you'll I hope you'll give it a try. And uh, this week, put in hydrogen, make up your own beats, uh, get going with it. And next week, we'll look at uh, plugging in some synthesizers. <laughs> Okay, well, that's it for this week. Uh, as always, if, if your stuff doesn't act like my stuff, checking the versions is the first thing you want to do. Otherwise, take, take some time, look at these websites. An awful lot of people have spent an awful lot of time to uh, put up these tools for you to use for free. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. And otherwise, uh, hey, have a great week. <laughs>